Today, I'm gonna to show you this many power cord plugins that are actually really useful and make power cord a whole lot easier to use that I missed out on my install. So to start off, you need power cord installed. Now I have a video on it and I just wanna say power cord is still against the Discord terms of service. It's just like better Discord. You can get banned for using it, so use it at your own risk. So to start off the first plugin, you'll see in the description, this huge chunk of text. You just want to copy it. Then you want to press the Windows key, go to command prompt, then you want to paste it in to install it. And this is the Power Cord Plugin Downloader. So Power Cord Plugin Downloader basically allows you to download plugins super easy. So in this case, I have a massive list of plugins in the YouTube description. If you want to get any of them, you just need to copy the text into any Discord channel and just paste it in. And when you have those links, all you need to do is right click on the one you want, then you can click install plugin and it'll install the plugin for you. It makes Power Cord so much easier to use. And when you go to the Power Cord server and go to plugin links or whatever, then you can literally look for whatever you want, right click on it and click install plugin. It is super helpful. You also get this nice little button up here saying download plugin. And for the next plugin, we have Power Cord Theme Downloader, which is the complimentary plugin to the plugin downloader. So just download it real quick and install it using that beautiful, beautiful plugin downloader and click got it. So once you install it, you can just go to the Power Cord server, find any theme you want and click the download theme button. And guess what? It'll apply just like normal. And now for the third power cord plugin that we have is BD Combat. So if I install the plugin, basically what it's going to do is that if you go into your settings, then you scroll down and you see better discord plugins. This allows you to run better discord plugins in power cord. Mind you, there will be compatibility issues. I know that a lot of people have rumors out there. Uh, someone made it so it doesn't work on power cord. Basically, your mileage may vary, but this is helpful if you have specific better Discord plugins that you just can't find an alternative for on PowerCord. And for the next plugin, there is user notifications. If you right-click install plugin, same thing, but click got it, go to your user settings, and basically what it allows you to do is set up notifications for specific users. So you can notify if you receive a DM from a user, but you can also be notified if someone talks in a channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go to the PowerCord server, then I'm gonna go to uh, maybe off topic. Hopefully a lot of people are talking. Okay, I've added time as a notification. And if I go to a different tab, hopefully when they send a message, which will be eventually, I will get a notification for it. There we go. So they sent a message, I got a notification for it. And I said time when it's time, I'm an idiot. But anyways, that's how it works. And you can also make it so that you can remove them from the list. Really straightforward, the settings are fantastic. Next up there's Mute New Guild, and this one's really obvious. If you add it, if you join a server, it will instantly mute it, and you can also configure the settings to be however you want. So you can have it configuring where if you want everyone pings or whatever. It, it's very much all up to you to choose, but I think it's extremely useful, especially when I join people's servers, and I don't really want to be messaged. And you can also turn off DMs. Fantastic, really useful. And now for some more optional plugins that still make Discord better. If I said better Discord, that'd be confused. Uh, I just said it already. Anyways, we have Grammar Nazi. So with this Grammar Nazi plugin, once again, always go to the settings when you first try it, but we have forced functionalization. We have normalized capitalization. So just like an iPhone and we have a custom dictionary and we have a toggle button location. So you can have it in the typing box, header bar or none. I'm gonna do it in the typing box because it just makes more sense. And when I start typing, you'll see the Grammar Nazi. I'm going to enable it. And I'm going to say, uh, I am going to go to store and I'm going to press enter. And it says, I'm going to go to store. It doesn't fix perfect grammar. Obviously it's not going to be that crazy, but it automatically uh, functionalized the I and it added a period at the end. So you still need to use your noggin. You can't just turn it off, but it is very nice to have. So complex sentences like furthermore, comma, I'm going to go to the store. If you press enter, it won't do a whole bunch. As you can tell, it automatically capitalized the F. It didn't do the I though. So there are limitations and you will have to set it up, but it's at least a nice little thing you could add on top of it. And for our next plugin, we have a relationship notifier. Now, if you install this, basically what it's going to do is make it so you can get custom notifications when people unfriend you, kick you, ban you whole bunch of other stuff also remove you from group messages which i think is really helpful as you can see remove you from their friend list kick ban group and you can also customize the text and have it say a specific message like guess what you're not friends with this guy anymore what a loser and you could be really self-centered it's all up to you a lot of customization and for our next plugin we have better replies now you might think oh this is going to be complex no 
This is a lifesaver. This one is fantastic. And I really need this all the time. Go to your user settings after you install it. Go to better replies and you will see you have appearance. So you can have it as a quote. You can have it as hidden. I think quote looks really nice to be honest. But we have the holy grail. Mention settings. You can make it so you never mention people. Always mention. Remember. Oh my gosh. Imagine trying to reply to someone and they always get pinged 30 times. This sucks on the receiving end and it feels bad on the sending end. So just, just click it as remember. And basically, if you turn it off, it'll stay off. And then when you turn it back on, it'll stay on. Really useful. Now, next up, if you still want to stalk your friends, you can go to DM Typing Indicator. When you install it, you have a couple options. I always recommend going to the options when you install a specific plugin. So this is the plugin settings for DM Typing Indicator. The main thing you probably want to do is just pick one of these indicator styles. I'm going to do both. You can change the max amount of users. If you have seven users typing to you, I'm so sorry. And you also have a couple settings like hide indicator, animate indicator, so you can turn it off and on. And you can also hide for non-friend users and blocked users. So a nice little thing to have, that's how it looks, and it'll show up at the top here. As you can see, when I'm typing to myself through my other account, you will notice that I get that little pop-up and I get the notification, and as you can tell, I have no idea what I'm typing these days. And this one's a little bit of a quality of life one. It's called Rejoin Voice Call. Install it. So what this plugin basically does is if you join a voice channel, you're talking to someone, you're hitting up your homies, and you're like, okay, good night. And then you close off and you hear them start talking a little bit of smack. Well, all you got to do is press the button, you know, instantly join back that quick. And you say, hey, what's up? I heard you talking smack. What is it, brother? And then they won't tell you because you actually don't have friends and that was some optical illusion that you made through your brain to cope with your loneliness. So for our next plugin, we have Invisible Chat. So once you install the Invisible Chat plugin, all you need to do is press Control and R to restart Discord and you should see the Send a Secret Message button. Click on it and this is where you get to put whatever you want. So my secret message is going to be NTTS sucks. Then the message to cover is going to say I love NTTS and the encryption password is going to be something secure like 1234. I'm going to click send. Now you'll notice it says, I love NTTS. And on uh, not my main account, but a different account, it says, I love NTTS. Not my, that's not my main account, Discord, I'm just saying. But as you can see, there's a little icon saying locked. Now, I don't specifically have power cord on my main account because that would be really bad. But your friend on the receiving end would just need to click on the little lock thing here. And they would need to type in the decryption password of 1234 and press embed. And now they will see the decrypted message is NTTS sucks and a little attribution to the beautiful programmers who made this. And next up for our next plugin, we have a little fun one. It's called Privacy Tab by quite a profile picture. But all you need to do is right click, then click install plugin just like normal. Better just, uh, oh, power cord's going to say something, not better disk. So once you install this plugin, it's very useful. You hear your mom walking up the stairs and you're looking at something that just indescribable to humankind. Press the F6 key and your discord will just turn blurry. She might be thinking, wow, I need glasses and you will be safe. Now, if you want to go back, just press F6 again. And you have a couple user settings if you want to change them. In this case, it is going to be privacy tab. Then you have blur time, so you can increase or decrease this. And the blur scale, you can increase or decrease this however you want. In this case, I'm going to crank it to 10. And I'm going to make this take like 0.2 seconds. Then when I have that, I'm going to click escape. And now in Discord, mom's coming. Oh, she can't even see anything. Mom, put your glasses on, mom. You hey, Why you can't see my monitor? And then you can turn it off. And, and I'm taking this way too far. And finally... For you people out there that like to skirt around the rules, we have power cord owner tags. So I'm going to install the plugin, get another phone notification, and just destroy my life. Click got it. And now if I go into the settings and go to staff tags, I have a whole bunch of options. The main thing this is going to do is that if I go into any Discord server, power cord server, and I go to the member list, I will see a staff slash admin tag next to people's names. This is basically used, so if you're talking some mad smack and you're like, I ain't even talking to an admin, uh, th this can save you from getting destroyed, basically. And that is the end of this Power Chords plugin video. Once again, if you want to remove them, just go to the Plugins tab and you can just uninstall them through here. Very easy. Also, very helpful. There's a lot of fun ones in there that I personally enjoyed and really have started making me think, I might be going Power Chord, baby. Anyways, hopefully channel tabs works, and if it doesn't, then I'm going to cry myself to sleep. I love you guys. Mwah.